Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super easy, quick and tasty breakfast for you to make. We're going to be making some hash, or breakfast hash. I'm going to make one that doesn't have any meat in it, although we're going to add a bit of egg. But this recipe, as well as some others, is a great idea that if you make, say, double or triple the recipe of what I'm going to show you today, that you can actually save it, freeze it in a Ziploc bag or a container, and then the next day or a few days later just take it out reheat it add some egg into it or some extra meat and you have a very quick and easy breakfast that you can literally make in under five to seven minutes so this is something to keep in mind because one i always try to make extra so i always work a day ahead and that way it saves me time in the kitchen as with my experience this helps a lot with saving your time effort and a lot of energy as well so guys before we get started today, be sure to check out the rest of my videos that I have up on my YouTube channel. Like the video down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already to help my channel grow. Now to start this recipe off, this recipe is very flexible. If you want to change or modify any of the ingredients, feel free to do so. You don't have to stick to this recipe specifically. Now, we're going to be using some potatoes, a little bit of sweet potato as well, some, well, red onion, or you can substitute shallots if you have any some mushrooms, red peppers, and paprika, as well as some thyme. And then I'm going to make a moha picon salsa at the end, which I made a video not too long ago, and if you would like to see that recipe on how to make uh, mojo verde, then I'll leave the link in the description below, and you can check that recipe out as well. So, I'm gonna peel the potato super quick with a bowl or something under it, just to catch all the shavings, because it makes our job a little easier. Then I'm going to show you a method on cutting this in a very elegant way. You don't have to do this if you don't want. You can cut it any shape, whatever is faster for you. Well, we're going to cut them in, and the sweet potatoes, in about one to 1.5 centimeter cubes which just makes it easier if everything's the same size to cook. I'm going to square off the sides and then I'm just going to cut about one centimeter slices, flip them again one centimeter and then turn them and again cut them into cubes. It's very simple and easy. Then I'm going to do the exact same thing with the sweet potato. Peel it, square off the sides, cut them again into cubes. Once this is done, we're going to move on to the mushrooms. I'm going to take the stem off, and if they're a little dirty, you can run them under some cold water very quickly, and then just dry them with a paper towel. Or you can brush the dirt off, it doesn't matter, but dirt's not really tasty, so I prefer to get rid of it. Then I'm just going to cut these into quarters, four pieces, very simple and easy. Just cut a little cross into them and you're done. Now for the red pepper. I'm going to use a portion of it because it's too much for this recipe. Um, but you can add as much as you like. I'm going to cut one side off. Now, the thing is, I'm going to clean the membrane that's on the inside, as you see in the video. It's very simple, but you have to be careful with your fingers, otherwise you can cut yourself. Then I'm just going to cut it straight down the middle, turn it on its side, and cut julienne slices of the uh, red bell pepper. Now I'm also going to cut the red onion. You can cut this any way you want, but this is a little different. I'm going to cut them in rings. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take the top, cut it off, cut a, a bit of the stem off as well, and then take the knife and just cut the first layer of the onion and peel it. Then I'm going to cut rings. It's very easy, and you're ready. We have all the mise en place ready to start our dish. Now to cook. We're going to take a saute pan, uh, one that preferably has a thick bottom to it so it retains the heat and so it doesn't burn. Um, you're going to put some oil in the pan, get it hot, put it on medium heat. You want to cook this on medium heat. We're going to put the potatoes and sweet potatoes in, and we're going to saute the potatoes for about six to eight minutes or until mostly done. Okay, we want a little bit of color on them. Take a little bit of salt, you can add a little bit of black pepper as well, and cook them. And if they're sticking to the pan, you may have to use a spatula to um, well, unstick them. If not, a non-stick pan works very well as well, but it's how it is. After this is cooked for several minutes, we're going to add the mushrooms in. I'm going to add the onions in. I'm going to add a bit of thyme, as well as paprika. And then I'm also going to add the red bell pepper. And we're going to saute continuously for several more minutes until everything is cooked. So it, in total time, it should take about 12 to 15 minutes to cook this, more or less. Mm -hmm. 
while this is cooking though, we're going to get a pot of water on and boil it and we're going to make some poached eggs. So when the water comes up to a boil, we're going to lower the heat until it's on a strong simmer. You're going to take a spoon and whatnot and you're just going to spin the water. We're going to add a little bit of vinegar to it as well and then we're going to take the egg in any bowl or ramekin and gently put the egg in the center while it's simmering. You're going to let this cook until the egg whites are done and the yolk is still creamy so more or less about a minute and a half, two minutes, maybe a little longer depending on the uh, temperature of the water and you're going to take this out and plate. It's very, very simple and easy. And like I said, I have the recipe in the description down below if you want to check out the moja picon salsa recipes that I made a few months ago. You're more than welcome to, and that goes very well with this dish as well. And if you are wondering what this little sausage is that I'm plating on the final dish, this little sausage is called fuet. It's a very typical sausage from Catalonia. Um, you'll see it everywhere when you visit Catalonia. And it goes very well with breakfast. I typically have it for breakfast as well, but it's a cured sausage, so it you can't really cook with it. It's basically just a sausage that you cut and eat, but the thing is that you have to eat this fresh because after a few days after you cut it, it turns very hard and if you don't eat it within that time, it's a little too hard to eat. So anyway guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the rest of my videos I have up on my YouTube channel for more content and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done already. I'll see you guys again soon and take care.